Hello, my lovely, awesome Virgo singles. How are you guys doing? Um, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, we're going to do a reading tonight. Hope you guys had a great weekend on the singles to see how will you know if you're ready for a new relationship? What are the characteristics of your potential new lover? Um, how you will meet each other and when and all that jazz okay so if you're new please do click that like share and subscribe button and everything you need to know is in the description box below this video if you'd like to get a personal reading and what have you okay first card to flip out Virgo how do you know if you're ready for a new relationship oh Virgo you look like you're ready look at that <laughs> Raring to go, Virgo. You, um, yeah, I mean, you're just, as soon as you meet that right person, you're on it. You're going for it. I don't see anything with you stopping you moving forward. That Knight of Wands energy is, you know, very progressive, action oriented. This is like, let's do it. F set that fire. Let's go. So I feel like Virgo. <laughs> You're already ready. I don't think you need to know how, how or when you'll be ready. I feel like right now, you're ready for the holidays. You're ready for the season. You're ready for cuffing season. You're ready to connect with someone um, and experience that passion and that 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 fire, okay? So <laughs> I don't think we need to go any further into this here, okay? You are like, charge, let's go. Okay, let's take a look at the characteristics of your potential lover. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so <laughs> Virgo's like on fire, ready to go. The characteristics of your potential lover are that they are um, not as rare and go as you are. <laughs> They're gonna like, I feel like your person is kind of like, slow your roll, Virgo. Calm down, Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing? I just think that's hilarious. Um, this person goes slow. Okay, they might reject you at first because, you know, they don't want to... I, I don't know, I'm just picking up maybe they're very sensitive. You might connect with this person. It's like they go slow and then in everything in life. But then when they're sure, they're like on fire. Then they're going to mimic you with that Nate of Wands energy. Okay, what other characteristics... Ooh, okay, the Empress. Yeah, see, this person is high value, okay? They're high value and they're very picky. This person will not just jump in, okay? Libra in energy could be a fire sign, could be a Taurus. This person, um, they might be a parent, okay? Um, let's see, they might be someone who is older. They are... They take their time. I feel like this person is very careful when it comes to connecting in a relationship. They might have children or maybe they're a grandparent. This person could be pregnant if you connect with them. Um, but I feel like this person is very high value, very high status. The Empress is basically the Queen of Queens, the King of Kings, so to speak. This person has been around the block. They have experience, they have wisdom. Um, they might be a very good parent. They take care of their children. You know, they, they know where their priorities are. And I feel like when you connect with this person, <laughs> you're gonna be, for you, I feel like you're ready to go. This person might just be a little more like, okay, slow down, let's try to get to know each other. Let's not rush into anything here right away, okay? And that's what I feel like their characteristic is in general they're well uh, established. I feel like this person is very stable. Okay. Hmm. Page of swords in the reverse. Okay, they're, they're all, yeah. So at first I was like, oh, but now I'm feeling this person is like, will wanna take their time to get to know you. Okay, they're, they're gonna take their time and they're gonna be very curious, trying to understand you, trying to kind of, um, how can I say this? Figure you out or understand where you come from. They want to know everything about you when you connect with this person. Um, you know, and the Page of Swords in reverse can sometimes be a card of stalking, but I feel like this is more along the lines of this person wants to, uh, 
make sure that who they get involved with, like you, if you have any legal problems, if you have any like tax issues, it's crazy. If you're strong, if or, or if you're just bad news. <laughs> I mean, come on, Virgo, you know you do the same thing when you're dating and you want to meet someone. You, you don't want to invest unless this person's, um, you know, going to be on the up and up. So I feel like you're meeting your match here. I feel like this person is going to be this exact same way. Okay, the, these are the characteristics, <clears throat> in, <clears throat> excuse me, in general with this person, how they approach life in general. They don't rush into things because they ha they, they don't have to. They don't, they're not in a position of desperation, you know? Um, they'll take the time to get to know people. And then if they realize that, okay, well, I don't think it's a match, then they'll move on. They, they don't invest their heart quickly because they have been around the block. They've been to the circus. They've seen the puppet show. And this person will take their time to get to know others um, to see, I feel like what I tell you all the time, Virgo, is to vet people before you, you know, lay down with them or what have you. I feel like this, you're meeting someone who actually does this. You're meeting, so I don't feel like they're a stalker. I feel like it's more like very inquisitive, overly inquisitive. Maybe they've been hurt in the past, but like I said, they, they've been to the circus. They've seen the puppet show. Okay. Especially if they have children. I know some of you are like, I'm not dating someone who's got who's pregnant from someone else. Well, you know what? It happens. Okay. So seven of wands in the reverse. Another characteristic of this person is that they, um, uh, I, I kind of get a sense this person at times. Well, they're definitely not defensive. Okay. They don't come across to me as being very defensive. They might struggle a little bit with boundaries here and there, um, meaning they might have a hard time saying no. Um, but they do, they do say no. Um, but I feel like it, they go so slow <laughs> that it might feel like things are stalling out with them. And I don't feel like that's really the case. I just feel like this person is, they're open. They're definitely, you'll notice that about them, that they're very open to connecting and getting, and you know, un, like learning more and um, connecting more with you, but so slow, snail's pace. You know, um, yeah, not defensive energy, definitely open. I, I don't know if they've struggled with boundaries in the past. And I, I do feel like once they find out that you're someone that they want to connect with, I do get a sense that they would get a little weak for you, especially if you're coming in with that Knight of Wands, which is like a very lusty, passionate energy i mean you might just break this person to the point where it's like okay i don't need to go that deep into things let me just see you know uh, let me go i, I want to be with virgo you know so that energy does play out a little bit with this person when you meet them but let's speak of which let's find out how you guys will meet each other in what situation what circumstances will you meet this person virgo oh well for some of you while you're traveling Okay, they might be at a distance and there might be like plans to connect with each other. Um, let me see what else. Um, hold on, I'm getting another message here. Some of you might have already met this person. I have to just say that they're, they're telling me. You might have already met this person and like, right before the summer started for some of you. Okay. Um, okay. Now I'm also hearing, I feel like you might meet this person at an event. If you haven't met them already, some kind of, they're just telling me like a holiday event. Um, it could be soon. It could be soon. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can find out when. Yeah, there's, it, it's a connected, for some of you, there's a connection. This might be like a friend of the family as well, or you might, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> you might meet this person, like you might have like a family member introduce you, both of you to each other, okay? Um, or 
You might uh, meet them at a wedding, if you go to some kind of wedding or some type of a reunion or a family event. Okay, could be an air sign for some of you. Might be another um, earth sign. Virgo Taurus Capricorn, hold on a sec. Okay, all right. Now, all right, some of you might have met this person in September already as well, and you're dating right now, okay? And this person's going very, very slow. So yeah, Virgo, I'm, I'm picking up. Okay, for others, if you haven't met this person already, It's going to be, um, it, oh gosh, I'm just picking up this energy that you already have met them. Maybe for some, for others, you might have, you know who they are. They know who you are. <laughs> Maybe you've met them and you're not interested in them, but I'm also picking up November into December. So like sometime around now, there's something that starts happening like a click or like a, like a spark gets made. It feels very holiday-ish, like the end of November all the way through the end of December into January, there's a connection. I feel like you, you, I feel like that's when you will meet each other at some kind of event or holiday thing, something along those lines. Let me see what would the characteristics or at least the dynamics of this relationship be, okay. Yeah, you know, it's going to, it's definitely going to start off as like a friendship kind of thing, or at least that's how it's going to feel, because I feel like this person, Sagittarius energy, we have Scorpio, Virgo, for some of you, it's going to feel like, oh, this isn't going anywhere, because you're coming in with the Knight of, Knight of Wands, so you're like aggressive, you're like, let's go, let's go, let's go, this person's going to slow it down so much. Um, but this is how they are. And I, I have to like give the message. This person's energy and passion is not going to meet yours 100% right away. It's going to take a little time until things get balanced. Because I kind of get a sense that this person, it, you might just decide at times with them, like, oh, this isn't going anywhere. And you might decide like, oh, this person doesn't want to commit, you know, um, or that like there's they're not interested or, or there might be separation but I, I feel the need to tell you that that is not the case I feel like this person is gonna take a really long time to get things going and you know what Virgo I have to tell you if you if you start dating this person and if after like a year there isn't some time of secure commitment that comes, then drop it and move on. Don't waste all of your time. I don't, I mean, a year max, you know what I mean? Like a year max. Okay. I feel like if you hold on though, and you, uh, there, there probably will be a lot of because it slows down there a lot or it's just taking a long time if it, you're coming in with that knight of wands here remember virgo so you're very like you're impatient you're ready to go things that are going to last for um uh, that could stand the test of time are things that are going to take time okay so there might be some breaks up breakups in between because i feel like breakups and then coming back together until you guys finally come into alignment and get fully on the same page i just feel like it's the 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 characteristic of this person that they go so so slow and it might feel like they're not interested at times or because they're not a chaser this person is not a chaser <laughs> I feel like that's the potential that's but there's always going to be this like coming I don't know some of you might have already experienced that in your relationships before you know what the stars here so this is a very positive message for you as far as there's hope you know I, I feel like to tell you that when you connect with this person if it feels like it's going to go really slow i feel like it's to tell you don't give up hope okay don't quit before the miracle happens that's that's just generally what i'm hearing because i feel like it's going to turn into something very beautiful very healing type of energy with this connection aquarius here let me see 
After that, I'm going to go into the um, Virgo, if Virgo is with another sign, to see what the messages are there. So what's the potential or possible outcome of this relationship? Okay, the Emperor and the Empress, perfect. <clears throat> That's a perfect match, Virgo. I feel like this is going to be your perfect match showing up here. It's going to be a winner, um, winner, winner, chicken dinner kind of message, kind of energy here. Successful. That's what the six of wands is. Okay. This is beautiful. This is like success. That's it. Victory. You will have, you will both have victory with each other. You just got to look very positive. Another success card. Aries energy, Leo. Very positive connection with this person. It feels like it's going to something that will lead possibly to marriage with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces. Um, it feels like something is going to be very stable. There will be an engagement or marriage or a very happy, happily ever after kind of energy. I love it, Virgo. I really feel like if you can manage to... <laughs> overcome uh, the, the snail's pace or if you can manage to not rush in and take your time with this person because remember you're coming in like that that's like boom Virgo's like let's do it if you can manage to slow your roll a little bit I feel like it will run its course the way it's meant to and actually turn out to be what you're hoping for you know some of you were like no that's fine with me no rush let's take our time okay let's get into let's see virgo if you're dealing with an aries and i'm going to go through all the signs here see what the messages are here for you virgos dealing with an aries virgos dealing with an aries what is the current energy Virgo with Aries. Okay, wow. Fulfillment. Wishes coming true. Realizing dreams. Happiness. Cheerfulness. Um, joy. Prosperity. So it looks like your wish come true for an Aries, Virgo. If you have a connection with an Aries, this person just thinks you are the end-all, be-all to everything. To, to them. To everything that they want. Complete fulfillment. Aries definitely feels that way about you okay so if you are dealing with a Taurus your connection with a Taurus okay Taurus is kind of struggling Taurus is like feeling left out in the cold Taurus doesn't know what's going on Taurus thinks that if there's a breakup or separation that this is just temporary that you guys will be back together <laughs> um Taurus is uncertain wants to get into realignment with you Okay, thinks that there's a lot of inconsistency and change going on right now um, <clears throat> and is really struggling. Okay, the relationship might be struggling at this time. Um, I don't feel like Taurus wants things to keep struggling. They want to find a way to get back into realignment, but they are kind of like, I don't know that they're losing hope because I feel like they're still keeping their faith as they're walking past here, a stained glass window of like a church or some sort. But um, yeah, it's tough. They're, they're having a hard time right now. Okay. So Virgo, if you're connecting with a Gemini, what's going on with this Gemini? Okay. Gemini just thinks that you are everything. Wow. The Empress here. Gemini thinks that you are a good parent, that you are sensual, you're nurturing, creative, beautiful, handsome, feminine, um, very artistic. They see you as like a goddess or a god. <laughs> wow okay so yeah gemini's really got their eye on you at this time definitely um may even want to have your baby <laughs> or have a baby with you okay let's see virgo if you are connecting with a cancer oh cancer's going to be reaching out to you sending you some kind of love messages um maybe even apology coming for you from a cancer <clears throat> Um, they think you're psychic to some degree. They have a huge, huge crush on you. Um, they feel like they're completely naive when they're around you. You must be very smart. Well, usually Virgos are. They really admire you, and I feel like there's going to be some communication about that. Um, I feel like they think that you're very youthful looking. Um, they love your inner child spirit. Um and, and your voice, I'm just hearing. They have a, there's also some very good news coming that they're going to give you very soon. 
okay? If you are connecting with a Leo, Virgo with a Leo. Oh, okay. Well, hmm. Why is this here? King of Cups. Okay. All right. First message I'm getting, the Leo thinks that you're 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 having a thing with um, a King of Cups or a Queen of Cups. Um, King of Cups, masculine and feminine. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not so sure about jealousy or anything like that, but Leo thinks that there's something starting with another person. Um, they're questioning this right now. Like, is something going on? Are you, who are you talking to? Is, um, the Leos might also tell you that um, the person you're with is hard up for you and it's not really your friend, so be careful. <laughs> Virgo, um, they might tell you that the person that you're friendly with or that you're talking to wants to get in your pants, okay? Wow, that's such a crazy message. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, Virgo, if you're connecting with another Virgo, oh, wow, there's some travel news coming. Uh, another Virgo is going to tell you that they're coming your way or there's going to be like something very fast. Either they're going, they want to move in with you or they're going to be moving towards you um, rather quickly, rushing towards you. This person has like, it's Cupid's arrows. I mean, this person is like, oh, holiday romance as well. So I feel like this person wants to either travel with you or travel to you to spend some time over the holidays, have some kind of like beautiful holiday romance you know, walking through the snow where there's like beautiful lights and hot cocoa and a romantic stroll. And yes, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I expect some messages, Virgo, from another Virgo. Okay. So Virgo, if you're connecting with a, Le a Libra. Oh, okay. <sighs> Libra's got a lot of stress right now. Weight on their shoulders. Uh, a lot of heavy work, obligations. Um, it feels like the Libra is just kind of like not giving you much in the way of time here. Um, they're overburdened, overloaded with responsibilities. Libra feels taken for granted, is uh, just carrying a very heavy burden on their shoulders at this time. And I mean, it's a 10, 10 of wands. So I do feel like that struggle is coming to an end or that, um, the, some type of a burden is coming to an end. Also heard this person, this Libra is doing a lot. Okay, they're not, I'm not hearing it. I'm seeing it actually. They are searching for the perfect gift for you. Whatever that might mean. They're searching for the perfect gift for you at this time. Okay, maybe it's the holidays. Searching for a gift. They're having a hard time finding something to get you for maybe Christmas or the holidays. Okay. Wow, interesting. Okay, uh, Virgo, if you're connecting with or you're dealing with a Scorpio. Okay. Well, four of wands. You two are. There's going to be a reunion, a coming home, a celebration, possibly marriage. Uh, a family reunion, uh, a very successful happily ever after with a Scorpio. This person uh, wants to reunite with you, wants to come home, wants to celebrate the holidays with you. This is a 11-11, so for some it could be a twin flame connection. Um, uh, I just heard connect with family. Um, they want to connect with, with family members, either that's yours or theirs, okay. Um, or they connecting with yours, you connecting with theirs. Okay. So if you are a Virgo connecting with Ace, oh, by the way, this person also wants to marry you, um, the Scorpio. Okay, Virgo, if you're connecting with a Sagittarius, wow. Sag is like, let's do this. You're my destiny. Sagittarius thinks you are their destiny. A little bit of a karmic relationship at times, okay? but definitely a soulmate thing. I feel like um, Sagittarius is making huge changes in their life, okay, huge. They've gone through a, a really challenging upheaval. Um, let me just get one more. Yeah, maybe some legal issues or a divorce or a separation, but Sagittarius is 100% coming in to make something right here with you, okay? connect with you, maybe even um, have like a, 
a lawful marriage, you know, uh, kind of like, let's just go to the courthouse and let's just do this kind of energy, I feel. Um, they feel very lucky to have you, to be connected to you in some way. This Sagittarius feels this way. Um, okay, let's take a look. What's going on with Capricorn? Virgo with a Capricorn. All right. Hmm. Capricorn's like a little bit hesitant right now. They're battle weary, drained. Um, they're not giving up. Okay, they're not giving up. They know they're like so close to having some type of a successful connection with you. Um, but they're kind of with, I feel like they might be withdrawn right now and they're not really communicating because they're, they've kind of like gotten back into their corner and they're like re-strategizing something here. They have their, this is the wounded, uh, wounded soldier kind of card here. Like already been through the battle, stepping back, um, putting boundaries up, trying to figure out, you know, gather the strengths, learning from their past failures. Um, but this person is, it really feels like taking time to figure stuff out and they want to reconnect with you, Virgo. This Capricorn wants to reconnect with you. All right, Virgo, if you're connecting with an Aquarius. Wow. Wow, Aquarius thinks you are extremely confident and brave. They really admire you. They admire your courage. Wow, and your generosity. Oh my goodness. Virgo, this person really thinks the world of you here. Totally. They want to like contribute. <laughs> they want to contribute. Um, they want it to give, they want to um, give to you the way you give to others. There's something about you that I feel like this Aquarius is just in so much admiration and awe of you at this time. Maybe they've always been that. They admire how you overcome your self-doubt and how focused you are. You're a huge, like you have a huge influence on this person and I see them um, offering, you might receive some gifts, 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 gifts from this person, maybe around the holiday time, or they give you some money, <clears throat> offer you a job, um, offer you a position of authority, um, take you on board in some kind of investment with them. I mean, I don't know if this is love or if this is friendship, but whatever this connection is, um, I mean, this person They've never seen anyone with the strength and courage that you have. You just impress them so much, Virgo. Wow, I like that. Okay. Your your charity and your giving nature is what impresses them. They might be very selfish at times. And they see you who's like out there, you know, here, I'll help you. Here, I'll help you. And they're, they're just like, oh my gosh. They, they want to be like you. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, Pisces. Virgo connecting with a Pisces. Oh, what's going on with Pisces? Oh, right. Pisces must have just bought a new car, but Pisces is connect wants to connect with you. Um, don't be surprised if Pisces doesn't, they're going to show up at your house. I know some of you are like, no, <laughs> there's a homecoming here. This person wants a happily ever after with you, a reunion for sure. This person, this Pisces is coming in. Okay, they're definitely coming in. And, um, you know, all of this energy is going to play out through the month of December. I feel like this, um, this Pisces is really up in their emotions about you. And they've got their sights set on you. They're determined to connect with you long term. Yep, they want to win you over. They want to win your heart. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's get into the Chinese signs here. And see, this is going to be for you, Virgo, your Chinese sign. Okay, year of the pig. Well, it could be you and, and another person. Year of the rat, year of the rabbit, year of the dog, year of the ox, year of the dragon. Oh, the ox is in reverse. So we already had that. We already had rabbit, year of the goat, and year of the tiger. Very nice. Okay. Let me get into some of your charms here and see if we can get some names and then that's going to be it for the night. Or the day. Or the night. Or the day. All right. Let's see. 
Okay. I see somebody bowling at this time, or is planning a tr planning to go bowling or shoot darts or do something where they're throwing things, maybe ax throwing or something like that. Don't make sure nobody's like in front of you when you're doing that. <clears throat> Bow and arrows, shields. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I heard Ariel, the name Ariel. Okay, someone's going in the army or is in the army or is coming back for holiday from the military. Okay, wow. All right, hold on a second. <laughs> I see two people doing some kind of um, uh, extracurricular like sport kind of activity or something like, but fun, some kind of fun type of game. Oh, all right. What is that they gave me that? What is that game called when people throw those bean bags into the holes? I know like in some areas it's super cold and that's not happening, but maybe if you're in a warmer area, you're able to do that. Um, I'm definitely picking up army or military, navy, marines, um, air force, something along those lines. All right. Um, now I'm getting the numbers nine. Well, first of all, they're telling me September 6th and September 10th. But I'm also picking up 9106. Wait, they just said one more number. 91063. Okay. Um, somebody is born September 10th, 1963. That's definitely a birthday. All right. Wow. This card just fell out of the deck here. Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> All right, somebody goes to the gym, works out a lot, a lot. They swim, especially. There's someone who does a lot of swimming. Okay, let me see. All right. Uh, somebody's working with Quicken books or Quicken. Is that, do people still do that? Quicken, I just heard Quicken or they're doing something with their money using a, 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 a using a, a something a software called quicken i'm hearing okay let me see somebody's got very long blonde hair very beautiful long blonde hair okay we've got somebody here in a wheelchair somebody's in a wheelchair um all right hold on a minute All right, uh, yep, somebody working on a PC. So I don't know if that's on a phone, that's like actually on a personal computer. Um, we have 610 and um, we have the initials. I just heard, okay, wait, they're giving me a name. Cassie, I just heard the name Cassie or Cass. And uh, they just gave me a basketball team, the Knicks. The Knicks, okay. I just said the Knicks. Um, I'm also picking up um, somebody's packing a suitcase as well, or packing to go away. And I'm also hearing um, the name Paul or Paula. Okay. All right. Somebody is. Oh, wow. Okay. Something to do with a car right now. Okay. There's something to do with a car. Uh, okay. They just said an old car, like f maybe somebody buys them or collects them. Um, they said 57 Chevy, 57 Chevy, or maybe somebody has one or you see one somewhere. That's a really old car. Maybe like a car show. Okay. 57 Chevy. It's interesting. Last but not least, yeah, I'm just picking up that name Cass again, or Kaz, C-A-Z, and also Zach, or Zachary, okay, Zach or Zachary. All right, let me get a charm, and this is, oh, beautiful, a unicorn, white unicorn <clears throat> with purple, a purple mane and a purple tail, 
and also a very beautiful dragonfly. I know where I'm at, there's no dragonflies out right now, but something very important, significant. Look, we have a couple of horses now. There's a blue rocking horse. Somebody might be having a baby or is expecting a little boy. Okay. Oh no, they just said twins. A little girl and a little boy. I just heard twins. And you have fearless. And you also have a dolphin with like a little ball, okay? Maybe somebody lives somewhere in Florida or Miami or somewhere where there's like a, um, um, like a water world or something along those lines where well, there's dolphins and whales as well. These uh, aquatic animals doing tricks. Um, but this fearless, this fearlessness, I don't know if somebody's getting a tattoo that says fearless or they already have that. It's, it's something connected to the word fearless. Um, you'll recognize someone by, or if, or if you already have that, maybe it's a bracelet of some word. It's just the words fearless, but it's written in black. Okay, so you might see it somewhere. It might be connected to you already. Just keep that in mind. If you get any of, um, if you resonate with any of these charms, um, it just means that it's more for you to listen to this message. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't mean that it's not your reading, but just keep that in mind. Let me just get a couple more. I want to get some messages of love. Obviously, the here and now card showed up there. So that was more of a message of that person, someone. Your true love is already a part of your life. But let's see what other messages Virgo needs to know. Messages of love. Okay. For some, there's an addiction affecting uh, a relationship that you have with someone. Okay. That doesn't have to be a lover. Could be. Could be a friend. All right, um, or a family member, something that you just may need to understand. Also trust, it is safe for you to trust in this situation. So you have a situation that you're thinking of right now and you may be wondering if you should trust, maybe trust in the situation, <clears throat> trust the process, trust God, trust spirit, trust the universe, trust the supernatural. Not necessarily people, because people will always let you down. We're just imperfect human beings, but it's safe to trust in a situation that's being brought towards you and acceptance. Everything is happening for a reason right now, Virgo. And just remember, you're right where you're supposed to be at this time. And abundance, you've done the work. Abundance begins flowing to you now, Virgo. So this is a very beautiful message. I love the singles. That was so awesome. I hope that you guys enjoyed that and you got some insight going forward. And I will see you guys all back here on the 21st, which will be tomorrow evening. Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok because I am now uploading videos on TikTok. And I'm also um, putting them here on YouTube as the shorts. But if you are a user of TikTok, definitely go follow me. The link is in the description box below. It's just house. O Virgo. It's at H O U S E O V I R G O. House O Virgo. Yep. So go follow me over there. Somebody asked me if I was on Instagram. I was. And <clears throat> I don't know if I got myself locked out or if I maybe deleted it, but I'm not on there anymore. So yeah. All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave that message there for you. And I will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful, awesome evening and day. Okay, bye.